let's start with your reading, Virgo. Today, we're going to look into the next six months ahead for you in order to see what the rest of the year will look like. We're going to start with two cards for each month to anticipate the type of movements you should expect. And then in the second part of the video, we're going to dive deeper in all the messages to find out more details, together with looking into how your current year is going to end. Now, let's start with your reading. All right. All right, Virgo. I definitely, I definitely see that you're going through a lot, but what you should know is that by the end of this message, by the end of the year, things will be very much different from what they are right now at this moment in time. First of all, we see that you are coming into the reading with the energy of the three of swords reversed. And it's clear right here that you're trying to shake something off. You're trying to deal with a disappointment, with something that perhaps you were not expecting. Whether this has just happened right now, or maybe it has happened in the past and you're still having a hard time completely let go of this, this is something that right now really does need to be let go for reasons that you'll see very, very soon. With the Three of Swords reverse, you're truly one step away from getting rid of something that is just hindering you and something that can actually be used as a lesson, as fuel to get where you're actually meant to be right here with the sun energy. The Three of Swords reverse, it's actually a very good sign right now because it means that you are letting go. Even if it doesn't feel like it, you are getting there, Virgo. So, first of all, what we see for the month of July is Justice and the Star reversed. Obviously, the star coming up in reverse is telling us that there is still a lot of work that you need to do. But actually, this is not even about quantity. This is about knowing what to do and just do it. The reason why I say this, it's because some of you with this justice card over here are still waiting for redemption, are still waiting potentially for this person to apologize, to say that they're sorry, to understand what they have lost, to understand that they give up on someone who would have never given up on them. And so because of this need, because of this idea of justice, at times you keep yourself stuck and you are not able to see what it is that you're actually uh, that you actually need to do right now, which is focusing on yourself, focusing on your journey and turn the star card upright. Finally, right here, it's clear that you just don't know what comes next. You look up in the sky and you just see everything upside down. It's It doesn't make sense. You cannot understand why you ended up in this place right here. But sometimes more than trying to understand what brought you into a specific position, it's better to understand how to get up from it and how to move on so that you can get to ra your righteous place, which is not this one upside down, is this one, the sun. We definitely have a lot of messages regarding the July month, things that you should know about, things that could actually help you getting here much quicker. And we will definitely look into all of these messages as soon as we clarify. Now, I'm really happy <laughs> to see the hang the hangman right here in the month of August. We see both judgment and the hangman. Right here, seeing the hangman is already telling us that that star card will be finally upright once again. Because the hangman is someone upside down, right? So it's clear that being upside down is making you see things from, a, from the wrong uh, point of view, a wrong perspective, a wrong perception of the situation. But soon, obviously, that is going to change. 
And, you know, this is something that has to start from within you, especially seeing the judgment over here. There is something in the month of August that you're going to understand, maybe because of a internal realization, or maybe because you're going to see some movement coming from that person, coming from that situation, and it's immediately going to put everything in perspective for you. Right here, you're understanding that negative things in life are only as permanent as you allow them to be. And at some point, if someone is not loving you with the same love that you have for them, then it's their loss. Why would you be the one losing anything in a situation where you're giving your all? And so right here, there is a very important awakening, which is actually determining a brand new beginning for you. With judgment, you have someone rising from their own ashes. And so everything that up to this point brought you down, it's actually going to be the fuel for everything that will come up next. This is a beautiful message, and there's a lot more that we need to find out about this, and we will as soon as we clarify. Now, very, very important here, the month of September. You know, it's very interesting to see how sometimes we keep ourselves stuck in a position for months, even years, and we feel that to actually experience a change and a transformation, we just need to be patient and wait. But right here, we see that as soon as you understand what you really need to do, and as soon as you'll have this judgment moment, things will change fast for you, Virgo, faster than you can imagine right now. That Two of Pentacles is clearly talking about a shift, a transformation, going from one element to the other, from one chapter to the other. And look at this one. There is something beautiful something absolutely beautiful coming towards you in the month of September. And what we see right here is you feeling happy, you feeling the passion, and especially you feeling seen once again. It's clear with that three of swords, the star reversed, the hangman, that you often felt invisible in this situation. And when someone you love, someone who you love, someone who you invested into and you, who you care about makes you feel invisible. Honestly, it's, it's, very, it's a situation that it's very hard to handle. But what you should know is that you're going to come out of this, Virgo, stronger and more successful than you've ever been, honestly. With the Six of Wands, we see someone who now wants to show you off. We see people interested in you, strong attraction. And overall, a successful, supportive, either relationship or overall environment around you. This is badass success for you. You're becoming an influencer. People are looking up to you. There is something really beautiful, especially with someone in particular. And this is the month in which everything that you were wishing for back here with the star, but that you felt very distant, is going to come true. We'll come back to this and see what this is about. Now, as soon as you start receiving this emotional reward, what do you have next in October? Seven of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles. I mean, come on. This is not something that you should perceive as temporary. And I know that some of you potentially will feel like that, at least at first. Some of you are thinking, oh, perfect. You know what? I've seen this before. I've seen people getting distant and in a way forgetting about me. And then they come back, they come back, they raise my hopes up again, and then they leave. This is not something that I want to go through again. This is not something that I'm going to go through again. But what you should know right here is that whatever is coming in here, it's going to be here to stay. And not just because of this external energy and what they want or what they are looking for, but it's going to stay because of your judgment energy. There is something that you're doing different right now, Virgo, and not just in love, but in life in general. There is something that just doesn't fit with you any longer, and you're not compromising. You're not saying, you know what, 
I'm going to say yes to this, even though it's not exactly what I want, but at least, you know, it's 30% of what I want. No, 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 no. With the 10 of pentacles, you know that you can have it all if you aim high and if you do not compromise. There is something right here that you're doing different. And all of a sudden, all these situations that were just giving you half of what you needed, what you were looking for, right now are giving you 100% of it. There is a really beautiful turn of events here that potentially right now you're not expecting at all, but that it's going to make you see things in a completely different way. Now, we have September, October, November. November, <laughs> you know, right here, it's where things are really going to start changing for you. Because let's, let's be honest. At first, you were trying to understand how to get out of the situation. And then things started to move things started to solidify. And at this point right now, it's a certainty that things are really changing for you. We see with this death energy that something will call you, something will force you in a way to make a drastic change, to let go of something in order to make room for something brand new. You know, this could be something very practical, such as a move, different city or a different home, a different job. This is actually the result of these pentacles energy and everything that you fought for. It's right here. It's in front of you, Virgo. And what are you doing? You're feeling afraid. I don't know if you feel afraid just because of the unknown. Obviously, with every transformation, even the positive ones, we have a lot of unknown that comes with it. Or because you're afraid of being happy. You're afraid of believing that this is actually going to be forever. So this Nine of Swords is coming up because it could be an issue. It could be an obstacle. And we'll look into it to see if there is actually anything that you should be concerned about or if it's just in your head. Now, from what we see in December, I mean, Seven of Wands, the Sun, you understand here with the events that are going to happen around you that... In order to be happy, you need to have your own boundaries. Sometimes we think that we need to give and give and give and never expect anything in return because, you know, that's how, that's how it should be. But it's not at all. Right here, you understand that happiness is in the balance of things. And you understand that even when you love someone, if you love them, and you, their love, the love that you have for them makes you love yourself less, then that's not balance. Therefore, it's not happiness. There is something right here that will come in and will be proving to you 100% that there is no reason why to settle, no reason why to compromise, and no reason why to be afraid to say no or to say not now to people or situations that seem good, but maybe they're not. There is something right here that it's making you very, very happy. And honestly, I'm looking at this King of Wands energy over here. It feels like, obviously, fireworks. It's the end of the year. But I see that these fireworks are something also very emotional for you and something that will make you start the new year in a very surprising way, in a very successful way. What we've seen so far, Virgo, is that, yes, you're going through a lot. Yes, you don't know which way is up and you don't know how to get out of the situation. But you need to understand that the universe has got your back. And soon you'll start seeing things very differently. And what will come in afterwards, it's going to come in to stay. Make sure to not get in your own way because what's coming next is absolutely beautiful. This is all I have for the first part of the video. If you want to dive deeper into the messages, make sure to follow me in the extended video link below in the description box. Also, Virgo, don't forget that every single week I randomly select viewers who have watched the extended video to offer them a 100% free personal live 45 minute reading. I send out emails every Monday morning and every Wednesday morning as well to confirm. Make sure to check out your spam folder as well. Now, thank you for watching the video and I hope to see you in the second part.